Behind me is the all new 2024 Tesla Model 3 in the solid black color. Now, having driven many of the Tesla vehicles, including owning one of the Tesla Model 3's previous generation, I can tell you that this car right here is a really huge improvement. Looking at these new headlights, this is what they look like. But unfortunately, you do lose fog lights. But I definitely do like the way this new front end looks like. The bumper is way nicer. It doesn't have that kind of flat portion in the middle. This is the real wheel drive model and the tires that they have right now on it are 235 45 r18s this car being a demo you can see that tesla did install winter tires on it so that their customers will be safe whenever they're test driving this car and you can see these are the wheel covers that you get with the new highland model 3 on the hood we still have our tesla emblem this model 3 also has the new cameras which kind of have this red to it taking a look here at the rear of the new model 3 as you can see we no longer have the tesla emblem it is now nicely spelled Tesla. Looking at the bumper, you can see right over here, they're actually part of the lighting system because when you open the trunk, you can see that the tail lights went with the trunk. You no longer have any lights right over here. If we turn on the hazards, which are now touch, you can see because the trunk is open, the hazard lights are now on the bumper, but they are still also flashing on the tail lights. So if we just touch the button and close it, this is what they look like. as you can see. And here's what the Model 3 looks like with the hazards and headlights on. There's the fender light, and that's what it looks like in the back. Once we open it, you also can see that we have the red light right there alongside with the hazards. And I believe the other one is the reverse light. Looking here inside the trunk, you do have a pretty good amount of storage right here. So I guess the new Model 3s come with this carpeted one standard. Whereas when I got my 2021, I had to buy floor mats myself. It didn't come with the car, there was no floor mats. And if you look over here, more spot right there, as well as right over here. Really big trunk for sure. Just like the other new Teslas, you do not have any parking sensors, but you do have the Tesla Vision. Here's the charge port, which is actually cracked. So yeah, it does have a crack onto it. Interesting. But that's what the charge port looks like. Take a look here at the rear. You can see the door panels here still have the ambient lighting. These are nice physical buttons, unlike the Model S and X. They feel great when you press them. Very nice big amount of storage right here on the door. And they are carpeted, so they're not going to be making any noises while you're driving. There's the rear seats, which are perforated, but these are not cold. They are heated. Now to fold the seats, we do have... 60 40 as you can see the driver's seat does not automatically go forward unfortunately so you have to kind of squish that in or move the seat forward yourself back here we've got a seat pocket two usb-c ports closing the door sounds great and sitting behind myself i do have pretty good amount of leg room more pocket back here behind the passenger seat and if we look here we do have our rear touch screen which is pretty nice now to be fair i've had this screen in my model x for a while it should have been placed like right here if you're trying to give some entertainment this is not a convenient place to watch some sort of movies because you have to be looking down and sometimes your knees on the way but it's better than nothing so from here on we can touch right here and we can adjust the vents right here to wherever we like it so that is pretty nice Nice. and you can see the vents are actually changing you can also have this quick shortcuts where it's just gonna do it for you so you don't have to play around with this you can also adjust the speed but I don't see any control that allows you to change the temperature if we look here at the rear you do have two heated seats in the back that have three options so you no longer have the middle seat that is heated but you can move passenger seat forward using the touch screen so if you need more leg room from here you can simply move the passenger seat forward from the screen clicking here on media we've got disney plus over here theater will show us all the other options so we've got netflix disney plus youtube twitch tesla tutorials touching here we've got the arcade so you can be playing some games if you like right here on the back screen we can adjust the screen brightness automatically from here or we can sync it with front one bluetooth devices we can add that right here and then of course we've got volume control right over here looking at the door panel from inside here you can see there is a speaker right over here and something that grabs my attention with the model 3s is this rear glass it feels like it's kind of like the experience of a model x if you were sitting backwards because you've got this really panoramic 
ceramic kind of glass. I mean, <laughs> you get the kind of Motolex glass in the back if you're looking rear window like that. You've got your code hooks right there. These are touch. You simply touch them and they turn on and that's what they look like. Kind of hard to show it on camera, but they have like individual lighting kind of thing. It looks really nice. There we go. You touch it and they just turn off. There's the code hook right there as well. Now let's get out. With this new Model 3s, you also have this new latch system kind of thing. So you've got this hole right here, and then you also got that right over here on the bottom of the door. When you close the doors, they sound great, unlike before. Looking here at the passenger side, there's what the door looks like. We've got the ambient lighting right there, the physical button, power windows, and this car has the double pane glass. So it's like the Tesla acoustic glass, and that goes even here on the back, as you guys can see. So this car, when I'm driving, it is way, way quieter than the previous Model 3. You still have your manual door release right there. Big pocket here for storage. Here's the passenger seat. Does have full automatic controls, no lumbar support. The seat is also perforated. Very high quality feeling. Like it feels like the Model X seat in a way with this perforation. Honestly, like this is a way better seat than the previous generation. These are also ventilated seats, so you can cool them down in the summer. This one here now uses magnets to actually close it. Touch glove box. It opens up like this. We still have our USB drive right over there. And it's like the shelf over here, but you have these two magnets now and they just snap into place right over here, as you guys can see. Very loudly, however. So you try to close as soft as possible and the magnets just pull it in nice and tight real quick. I've got this kind of carpeted feeling just like here on the doors, as well as right here attention to detail looks great there's the screen which honestly like it's really hard to tell that it's bigger but it is bigger in a way like smaller bezels two wireless chargers they seem to be a lot faster opening this up we've got the storage space and there's a 12 volt outlet right there opening this up there's the cup holders opening this up is where you'll find your one usb-c port there is a light and if we look here there is actually a shelf on top of the 12 volt outlet closing the passenger door sounds very solid the sun visors are magnetic so they kind of swivel they do extend as well magnetically connect and you've got this kind of ipad screen cover right here for the mirror we've got the touch lights hazard touch right here and you can also activate park reverse neutral and drive from here i guess i'm not sitting in the driver's seat so it's not going to do it but i'll show you when i'm there got the interior camera as well as the rear view mirror which is auto dimming just like the side mirrors as well here's a closer look at the sunroof here that does not open, of course. And this one looks like it's like got a speaker here. I don't think that's there on the previous Model 3. And you can see that's kind of what it looks like. It does look a bit different. I think it looked way nicer when it doesn't have this. But if it's making a difference, then oh well. There's the ledge right there. Opening up the driver's side door. You can see right here, we've got this beautiful door panel. I've got the unlock right here, emergency open. Full automatic window controls, again, the carpeted storage space, the speaker. Looking at the driver's seat, you can see it is perforated, ventilated, and heated. We've got the lumbar support here as well. You can move the seat back and forth, adjust it however you like it. But the driver does get lumbar support still, which is great. Looking at the pedals, you can see they're just rubber. They're not any fancy aluminum looking. You don't get that with this particular Model 3. That's what the steering column looks like without any stocks. There's the vent system as well. Looks very nice. Sounds great when you close the door. Here's what the steering wheel looks like. And this steering wheel is actually pretty squeaky, at least on this one. So when I'm driving, there's a bit of a rattle coming from here. And it looks like it is from here, the connection between the steering wheel and this part right here. Because we don't have any stocks, we've got our turn signals. These are actually physical buttons, unlike the Model X and S. You push it and it's an actual button camera turns on here as well another thing this new model 3 has is that now you have this blind spot light when the car is in your blind spot the light actually activates it doesn't shine we've got the headlight flash right here shows it right there on the car as well this is the scroll wheel to adjust your mirrors steering column everything like that you adjust it using this this is like a multifunctional knob which is great you've got your autopilot knob as well now with the new model 3 we also get this camera button so you touch that your camera comes right up which is great You've got your windshield wiper, one touch will do that. If you hold it, then it will also spray it with windshield washer fluid. 
got the talk to the car feature as well unlike the model x and s with the yoke or even the steering wheel you don't have the horn here it's now back into the center just like that looking here at the vehicle options you can see right over here this is all the options this new model 3 has going over there there's the controls the pedals and steering no sport mode on this rear wheel drive charging so if we go let's say right here to 81 percent which is the recommended daily limit on like my model x we recommend keeping your charge limit at 100 percent and charging fully once per week we've got autopilot options right here so you can see full self-driving supervised now it's cold here's all the options for that we've got the lock right there lights this is to control the ambient lighting so you can put it at green and the problem with this ambient lighting guys is that when you're driving the silver material in the daytime does reflect on the windshield which is a bit annoying and then when it's nighttime and you want to enjoy the beautiful ambient lighting uh, the car ends up automatically dimming those lights and you cannot change the brightness of those lights yeah we don't have any slider like this display slider to change the ambient lighting it just automatically dims it for you going here to display there's all of our other options this is what it looks like when it's in dark mode right there we've got trips this is what the average efficiency is here so 19 kilometers two kilowatt hours since last charge average watt hour is 124 per kilometer navigation safety still got sentry mode dash cam pin to drive joe mode and this is in demo mode. So any settings that I put, it automatically deletes them in a way. And every time I go back in the car, it even removes my phone from the Bluetooth and things like that. So there's the service options there. And then of course you've got the software which shows about the car. Uh, there's a coyote right here visiting us, I guess. Anyway, if I touch the brake pedal, we can shift up here for drive. Reverse will be down. We can touch here and hold for neutral. We can touch here for park. And then we can hold park to enable the parking brake. Now, if you're in drive and you're wearing your seatbelt buckled up, I've got it in drive. And if I just unbuckle, we're back into park. Now, if we look here at the top, if we touch right here, you can see these illuminate because the car is on and I'm sitting in the driver's seat. I can just touch here on the drive, kind of give a bit of a pressure and we can just change it. So in case something happens to the screen, you can still shift from here. These are touch, but this one, you kind of give a bit of a force because if I touch it, nothing. If I touch hold, nothing. You have to give it a bit of a pressure. Let's take a look at the frunk. Opening the frunk, you can see that now the windshield washer fluid location has been replaced here into the front instead of it being over there. Here's where the tow hook is located. So you can screw this into here in case you need to be towed out of somewhere. But that's what that looks like right there. So yeah, guys, that was a quick review of the 2024 Tesla Model 3. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one.